My name is Amanda Cousins, I'm a third year geography student, and this is a video about cigarette butts and how we can change our world. Here are some statistics about smoking. In the 2011 Stats Canada Census, one in five Canadians still smoked in Canada. That's about 5.8 million people. That percentage has dropped from 1965, about 50% of Canadians smoked, and now in 2012 it's only 16%, so that's pretty good. Even though it has dropped drastically, the amount of cigarette butt litter is the largest source of litter worldwide. And people don't really realize how much of an impact that their cigarette butts can have, especially if everyone in the world who still smokes is improperly disposing of their cigarette butts. There are four main components to a cigarette. There's the filter, any tobacco, the additives, and the actual uh, cigarette wrapping. When I'm talking about cigarette butts, I'm actually talking about the filter, which is a little end piece that you uh, put in your mouth that helps um, stop the cigarette from actually breaking apart when you're smoking it. It's wrapped in a tipping paper made to look like cork. Now, cigarette butts are such a big cause of litter due to the fact that they're not actually recyclable, where some people might think they are. 90% of cigarette filters are now made of plastic called a cellulose acetate, which is made from a uh, paper and rayon compound, which aren't recyclable and never break down. Um, it can break down into smaller pieces, but it will never fully um, disappear. I'm going to talk about three main things to do with cigarette butts. One, why it's such a big issue and why there's so much cigarette butt litter. The impacts that cigarette butts can have on our earth and on the humans. And then how we can start solving this problem because it's a big one and it needs to be addressed. Cigarette butt litter is an issue due to three main things. The popularity of plastic cigarette filters, the carelessness of smokers tossing their butts wherever they please, and then the fact that they banned indoor smoking. So after the 1950s, cigarette filters became increasingly popular due to the link between cigarettes and cancer, obviously. Filtered cigarettes used to account for 1.5% of all cigarette sales, and now they account for 97% of cigarette sales in the U.S. Almost all cigarettes having filters and the popularity of unfiltered ones very rare nowadays. You can bet all the butts lying on the ground that you see walking in and out of doors are all filtered. Those butts will stay there forever and they won't go anywhere. They might move, they might change places, but they're not going anywhere. Those also have the serious bad habit of just tossing their butts wherever they please. If you go outside to any area where people gather, such as a bus stop or entrance as a building, you will see how many butts are lying on the ground, even though there could be a proper tobacco receptacle just feet away. The last reason why butts are such a main source of litter kind of shocked me, and it's due to the ban on indoor smoking. When you were inside, you would have garbage and ashtrays lying around, always within reach, and you weren't usually traveling very far or standing. You were usually sitting down, either having a meal, talking to someone, engaging in conversation, so that you'd have an ashtray right near you. When you're standing outside, you can be walking, you can be by an entrance, and people don't often put trash receptacles um, in common areas where people put, so people have nowhere else to put them if there's no garbage can around. If you wouldn't litter or drop your butt inside a building, why would you drop your butt outside on the earth? Your earth is your home. It's the only one we've got. Some of these impacts that cigarette butts can cause are either super surprising or very, very common. One of the most disastrous things a butt that has not been properly extinguished that has been thrown onto the ground can do is set a forest fire, which are extremely common. Butts that aren't properly extinguished can catch fire on any loose, flammable debris such as trees, which can quickly turn into a forest fire. In the US, um, the cost of fires caused by careless smoking is about $6 million nationally. These cigarette butts ruin lives, ruin homes, and ruin families because someone didn't properly extinguish something while they were walking on a hike or just driving out their car. A lot of marine animals can mistake the cigarette butts for food, and a lot of butts are often found in the stomachs of fish, birds, and other small animals, even large animals. The toxins in cigarette butts can leach out of the filters, if not ingested, and get into waterways and kill some small but very important uh, marine life. Not only do animals ingest butts, but also small children may even ingest them. Cigarette butts can make small children, or any human for that matter, extremely sick. Children around the ages of 6 to 24 months, with most children around 6 to 12 months, ingesting them. So one out of every three children who eat a butt develop symptoms such as vomiting, nausea, and gagging. How could anyone who smokes throw their butt on the ground knowing that a marine animal or that a small child might pick it up and get sick from something that they've done? There are so many things that can be done to help this issue. You can place ash receptacles at all building exits and at places where people stand for a period of time such as bus stops just so that people have a proper place to put them. 
educating people on this issue as well and teaching smokers that when they just carelessly toss their butts around, it has a major impact. Finally, in searching for ways that we can help stop this issue, I found a really cool um, website called TerraCycle, and they actually recycle filtered cigarette butts. So what you do is you select your waste, so that would be cigarette butts. They send you a box that you can collect your cigarette butts in, and then you ship it back to them, and they turn it into recyclable products that can be reused and resold. Once you send it into your waste to this company, um, your collection will be credited as TerraCycle points, which then you can that you've earned for your waste, and those points can be redeemed for charitable gifts or a payment of one cent per point that you receive. So the more that you collect your trash and the more you send into them, the more points you get and the more money you could either receive or the more charity you could get back to. I think this program is so cool. They not only recycle cigarette butts, but other non-recyclable things that you wouldn't think of. I got really into this project and I didn't ever think about how much cigarette butt waste is that big of an issue. Although you do see it so often, just standing outside the education center at school um, where there is a proper tobacco receptacle, um, there are countless cigarette butts lying on the ground and I just thought, oh, they're just there. You see them in cities, you see them in rural areas, you see them everywhere because that's people still smoke. It's still a thing. Unfortunately, there is a link to cancer. People still do it because it's an addictive habit. But you never think of the impact that it could have on our earth. And learning about this and learning how much of an issue it actually is really uh, interests me. And it affects all of us. It affects every single person in this world. It affects our marine life, which is where we get our water from. It affects our children. If you've got children, it affects you. It affects the environment. It affects everybody. And I think even if you don't smoke or you don't know anybody that smokes, you have sure seen cigarette butts on the ground and you can do something about it.